Hello, my scope worlds and turtles. Shocker here, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario. Uh, last time, we went through these ruins, did a few of the puzzles, and got the super hammer. Uh, also, we figured out that there could be a person here, uh, and that person may or may not be supposed to be here. Anyways, we shall continue, and... Hopefully not die. There we go. Rush through that room. Rush through this one. Go down here. Pretty sure I... Oh, right. Now that we have these... Um, now that we have the super hammer, we can break through the stone. Uh-oh. I think I could have actually started running there, but... Okay, this is a new enemy. Um... The Stone Chomp. Uh... Bombette, you switch to Goombario so I can... Tell... Oh, so I can show what that is. The Stone Chomp can be... Hit... For quite a bit of damage, and it also does quite a bit of damage. It is a stone chomp who guards the treasure in this room. He's made of stone, duh. Max HP is 4, attack power is 3, defense is 1. His jaws c uh, can supposedly crush a coconut. I don't know about you, but I don't want to become a snack. Alright, so... I did actually a pretty good amount of damage here. I guess I'll go with a quake hammer so I can take this guy out and also do more damage to the one in the back. There we go. Um, Alright, so now that we know what these guys are, we won't have to tattle them next time we encounter them. Also, that is a very good use of the paper style, just having them come out of the wall. Di uh, the Pyramid Stone. Uh, a triangle-shaped stone found in the Dry Dry Ruins. Okay, so down here we can unlock that over there by going here, that moving over, and jumping over here. We can do this. You got an artifact, a strange artifact found in dry, dry rooms. Okay. So, let's see here. Um, actually I think I need Paracarry here to fly me over to this side. Then Bombit, because... No, wait, that's not the right one. Down here. I think. Let's go over here. Yep, there's another one here. Uh-oh. That, that one I can't escape. He's just coming out of the stone. Um, I mean, I could do the same thing I did before, but... Um, I have Bombat to basically do that. Oh, dang it. So, let's do this. Three. Yeah, I can just do that. In the same amount of turns. Some coins here. There we go, diamond stone. Star-shaped stone found in dry dry rooms. Then we go over here. Go! No, 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 no. Okay. I made one of them dizzy, but I still can't do anything. I do have Quake Hammer, though. Maybe I should just save Quake Hammer for when I have to do this. That would be good. There we go. Oh, 
Bombat does have a move to get rid of um, enemies that are on the ceiling, but it's a lot more expensive than Quake Hammer. Alright, six star points. Oh, two health. Oh, nice. Okay. Boom. Then hammer. Or button. Then staircase. Then we can jump up to grab the key. Now I just have to... Oh. Uh, is that a blue? Um... I don't know. Also, I don't know where I am on that map anyways, so it wouldn't even matter. Anyways, now what place would need a key? I think this side... Uh... Oh, that... Oh! Up there! There we go! Just jump up here. And there is the um, solution to the puzzle. You go triangle, star, moon. And you can probably guess where we're about to get in this room. Lunar stone. Uh oh. Alright. <laughs> Come on. Dang it. I'm not good at this. <laughs> then we'll get a full hit just because. There we go. Eight star points. Anyways, I should probably check that stone to see what its description is. A crescent-shaped stone found in dry dry rooms. And I still have the dusty hammer and dredge room. Alright, so this is the lunar stone, this is the diamond, and this is the triangle. health. And over here. This is your final warning. Enough of this foolishness. Leave at once. There's a save block and health. Hmm. I wonder what could be behind this door. Oh, whoops. Um, I'm just bringing out Goombario here. <sighs> am I ready for this? Yeah, I am. Let's go. <laughs> oh, dang. He actually is like a ghost thing. Oh, wait, no. He's just... Ew, you ignored all those very scary warnings. Don't you have the common sense to get scared and run away? What's wrong with you? 
you shouldn't mess with Toten Kumpa, a faithful follower of King Bowser. Oops, I mean... Yeah, you shall regret this. Alright, so this person isn't actually a pharaoh or whatever. This is Tutankumpa. Koopa. He's one of Bowser's followers and has been assigned to guard one of the star spirits. I've heard that he has some sort of uh, pharaoh complex. Max HP is 30, attack power is 30, defense is 0. He attacks by throwing shells from that high perch. Try to dodge when he uses magic. Its attack power is 2 and it'll sting for sure. And he also summons Chomps, his loyal subjects. Those Chomps have some serious attack power. Think hard about who to attack first, Toon Koopa or Chomp. So. <laughs> this guy is 30 HP. And I really should have gotten more stuff for jump power. Um... I only have power bounce. I guess that's just what I'm gonna have to deal with. Alright. <clears throat> Gotta pay attention for this. Okay, that one was... I'm pretty sure that was a cap instead of my own fault. <laughs> come, jump, come, fight this intruder. Oh boy. Here he is. The one and only Chomp. And not just a stone chomp, an actual chain chomp. This is a chomp. You've heard about chomps before, I'm sure. Max HP is 4, attack power is 3, defense is 3. They're made of such hard stuff that most attacks, most of your attacks won't even phase them. Get a rumor about Chaps are a little peeved at Tukupo because he works them so hard. I can't actually deal with the chomps. Because I don't have any charge. Uh oh, that's bad. I mean, I, possibly I could do hammer. I could do quake hammer, but what I really want to do. Oh, dang, this is gonna hurt. Okay. At least I'm getting the blocks. <laughs> Let's try this one more time. Yeah, let's just defeat him as fast as possible. Um... Is there any... possible... Is there any partner that could get rid of the chum? I guess only Bombette could. Um... Yeah, just in case. Dang it. I'm a magical genius. Watch and be amazed. Oh, dang it. I forgot. I have to block for the partner as well. Uh-oh. Okay, um, refresh. There we go. Yeah, so... The magic thing is actually um, is actually kind of useful because he could hit himself with it. Actually, I think it's like back and forth between the damage. Yeah, it's definitely a cap. Dang it! All right, so I should be fine here. Yep. Oh, and now he's on the ground. Um, does... can Bombette... yeah, Bombette can bomb. So I should just use the normal jump. Alright. Three damage, okay. <laughs> Great. Now Tootin' Koopa will... Ouch. 
What are you doing? That hurt. I'm king of the desert, you rude, rude man. Take this. And I think that is close to being done. Just need a few more attacks. Yep. Does nothing. Oh boy. Alright, I have to block for both. Oh wait. Okay. It's it's mainly based on luck. But that is it. That was actually pretty easy. No. Oh, come here, Chompy. What are you? Ow, help. Wow. That was. Well, <laughs> that went by quickly. I was not expecting that to be. Like that. Anyways. So, yeah. We got another one. End of chapter. Thus, Mario and Party unleash the Unearth the legendary dry dry runes deep within dry dry desert. They smashed Tutankoopa, Koopa, the wizard, and freed Mamar, the second of the wish granting star spirits. But the enemies awaiting Mario grow ever stronger, and the challenges more difficult. What's in store for Mario and friends? Where will their adventure take them next? Save and continue. <laughs> Hello, how are you feeling, princess? Nothing makes me happier than a smile from you, Peach. Well, tough luck. I'm in a very bad mood, you monster. You've been pressing all the guests from the castle. You are the single greatest disaster to ever befall the Mushroom Kingdom. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> That's... I mean, it's true, but, like, jeez, that's harsh. I'll tell you what, I'll smile when you make everything as... as it was before you showed up. Gwahahaha. <laughs> oh, that's rich. You know I can't do that. That jerk Mario just beat the Koopa Bros and Toon Koopa. Sure, they were complete wimps, but they were still loyal to me. I can't forgive Mario for disrespecting me. I'm nipping this in the bud right now. I'm gonna use Invincible Tumble Blub on him. He's the strongest creature I, I know. After me. You'd best forget about Mario. Your nastiness. We have a problem. Why, Kevin Koopa? What's got you so riled up? You look upset. Psst, psst, psst. What? The Star Spirit flew away from Tubba Blubba's castle? Uh, King Bowser, keep your voice down. Princess Peach will hear you. Mm, yes, right. Tell me the details over there. <laughs> Twink, did you hear that? Yes, I sure did. The Star Spirit must have escaped. Did you hear him call that tubba blubba thing invincible? That doesn't sound good. <laughs> you think Mario can win? You'd best, uh, you'd best try to find out tubba, uh, about tubba blubba. If we could find something, anything, about a weak point, it must just save Mario. It might just save Mario. Good idea! Then, then there's no time to lose. We won't, we 
We won't get anything done if we stay in this room. Poof, 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 poof. Okay. Now we, now we can escape. If I can do it every time in my normal playthrough, I'll do it all the time in the Let's Play. Button. Spinning around, spinning around, spinning around. Okay. Nothing there. There's still guards outside. Be sure not to get caught. Okay. Don't get caught. <laughs> I really thought I was going to get caught right there. Alright. Nothing in here. Oh. Oh, look there. Oh, what a beautifully crafted treasure chest. Yes, do you like it? This is a mysterious treasure chest that's been passed down through generations of my family here at the castle. Really? How oh, mysterious. A mysterious treasure chest. This, that's right, this chest is connected to another mysterious treasure chest somewhere in the Mushroom Kingdom. They say you can put things in this chest and take them out after... Take them out of the other chest. Isn't that, well, mysterious? Yeah! Well, that's really cool. So, where is the other treasure chest anyway? Er, where is it? You know, I can't remember. Deep Focus Badge. Can we put this in the chest? You put the, you put in deep focus. It's gonna be very useful if we can find out where the other chest is. Um, it's locked. Um, actually, where is? Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Found it. There we go. There are guards in here, too. Probably lots of them. You better be extra careful. It's now a stealth game. Damp, 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 damp. Classic um, running behind the guard, even though he could probably see you, though. Damp, damp, damp. Also, <laughs> apparently. Guards don't know how to look in between bookshelves. Power rush. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and put that in the chest. Oh, dang. What? Princess Peach? You know, you're not allowed to leave the room. I'm sorry, but I'll have to take you back. <laughs> they saw the star. <laughs> Didn't know that it counted the star. Are you alright, princess? Did they hurt you? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you, Twink. I was just plain stupid. I've got to be more careful. It'll be okay next time, Princess Peach. Luckily, they didn't see the, <laughs> the campfire, or the just fireplace not be, or luckily they did not see the fireplace as a hallway. They just saw, oh, yep, that's, that's a fireplace, alright. And they didn't actually try to look at it more. Anyways, put in power rush. And now that's all we can do for now. Also, yes, Princess Peach cannot uh, do any sort of combat, nor can she use badges, so... Gotta do. We can't. We can't defend ourselves. Is what I'm saying. Damp, 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 damp. Go, go, go! Damp, damp, damp. Hey, 
Have you heard about oh, Monster Master Double Blah Blah? I heard a rumor that he loves eating ghosts. Ugh, ghosts, huh? Master Tubba Blubba loves deep inside for a force, doesn't he? I think he's guarding one of the star spirits right now. Yeah, Master Tubba Blubba lives in the castle up at the top of Gusty Gulch. I heard that somewhere near his castle is a mansion and a village full of ghosts. I guess Master Tubba Blubba sometimes goes there to catch booze. And then, when he catches one, he gobbles it down, starting with its head. Chomp. <sighs> oh man, that's so scary. I won't be able to walk into the bathroom alone at night. And I'm gonna have nightmares. I know it. Why'd you tell me? I also heard that Master Tubble Blubba is invincible. They say he can't be hurt. Nobody can even scratch him. He might be even stronger than King Bowser. Stronger than King Bowser? Come on, that's impossible. Even Master Tubble has to have some weak points. It's just common sense. Yeah, you may be right. There's another rumor that Tubble Bob has got a secret that would ruin him if ever got out. I mean, it's about his past. I heard he didn't used to be strong at all. Shh! What if Tubble Bob hears you? He might gobbles, uh, gobble, uh, gobble us up. Still, what do you think his secret could be anyway? I don't know. Nobody knows. That's why it's a secret, you half-wit. Twink, it sounds like Double Blubba has a weakness after all. If only we could find it out. If only we could find out. Huh? Hey, did you hear someone talking just now? <gasps> Do you think someone knows we're goofing off in here? Uh, well, oh, Princess Peach, how'd you get here? I'm sorry to do this, but you'll have to go back to your room. Right now. I mean, I believe. Oh no! Oh, wait. Oh no! But, anyways. So, at least they apologized before they grabbed her. Thank you, Mario. At last, I can head home to Star Haven. My name is Mamar. So nice to meet you in person. You've still got a long way to go, but I just know you can save Princess Peach. I'll do my best to help you. Here's a present for you. Mario's star energy... Uh, Mario's star energy goes up to two. <laughs> Mario can now use Lullaby, a new star spirit power. With Lullaby, you can make all enemies fall asleep. Call on me when times are bad. I believe I believe in this, Mario. My powers are strong. I'm a star spirit after all. Hmm. <laughs> Our powers are growing all the time. Keep up the good work, Mario. You must save the other star spirits as soon as possible. For now I'm going to back to recover in Star Haven. Who knows how many of my dear old star Who knows how my dear old star Haven is faring without the star rod. Goodbye, Mario. I'm off. And up they go. And I didn't even need to heal. Because I'm pretty sure the boss heals after you defeat them. Oh my gosh. Um. Yeah, no. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. So, now we know where to go. Oh, there's a thing I can sell. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go quickly sell my stuff. Go, go, go. Speed. Come on. Come on, speed, go, speed, go and go and go and go, come on, come on, come on, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Oh, there's other toads here, that's cool. 
Hold on a second. I'm just gonna sell some stuff. Welcome, traveler. This is the renowned little mouser shop of Dry Dry Outpost. What can we interest you? Yeah. Uh, sell. Everything. Dirt of Fire Flower. Dusty Hammer. And Dry Shroom. And there we go. Spinning, oh my gosh. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Anyways, so now that we. Okay, so we know about um, where we need to go, thanks to Princess Peach, even though Mario technically doesn't know. Uh, we have to go to a place called Forever Forest, which. Yeah, that's. That's uh, gonna be real interesting. Uh, yeah, so I'll. Ne next time uh, on Paper Mario, we're gonna go over and see if we can find. Or maybe we could prepare before Forever Forest. Or maybe we could just, like, go into Forever Forest. Uh, and we also did pretty good, uh, this time. We defeated Toot and Koopa, and, um, figured out where we needed to go, which I have already said. Anyways, so, yes, I'm gonna, uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye That was a terrible ending, <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs>